Hello there once again, I'm Peter Vaughan and here's another chapter of Name of the Day. And the letter we're up to now is the letter P. One for the girls and one for the guys. Now, I've got the names here, Paul and Patricia. I know Patricia. I've known several. I've known a few Pauls as well. They both have similar characteristics because of the letter P. Now, the letter P is the 16th letter of the alphabet. And shape, and it's the set, because it adds up to seven, the shape of the letter P says it's knowledge. It's an all-enclosed space. Got no gap on it. So it holds on to things on the inside. And because it adds up to seven, it likes to hold on to things because it likes knowledge. It likes to learn about things. But the letter P, when it's younger, has a tendency, because of its structure and shape, it's top-heavy with knowledge, it has a tendency to fall over on its nose more often than not when they're younger. In other words, the letter P learns its knowledge by pure experience. Some people learn by the way in which they read, observe, are told, inbuilt, the way they were brought up. They have, it's a conditioning. But the letter P is so interested with what's going on in the outside world that they lean into going to see what it's all about without first checking. And then they learn the hard way. So the letter P becomes very wise from its innocence to its wisdom from experience. So the P learns and puts all that new knowledge it's got right back up into the top up here where it belongs. Now, as the P gets older, this is now an interesting little way of looking at it, it learns balance. So that the center of gravity, if you were looking at it that way, says it's not going to topple over because the weight forward, I should actually draw that a bit bigger. It's got ability to like standing on, now standing on one leg at the moment. I don't know if you can see my foot there. I'm just standing on one leg at the moment and I'm balanced, but I am actually leaning back a fraction, not forward. If I lean too far forward, I'm going to overbalance and fall flat forward. So as a P learns knowledge over the years with experience, it becomes wise. And also that number 16, which is one number that I tell people to be aware of, one in six says, I like, I want the comforts, I want things to be warm and tasty. I want to make you feel better. I want to give you a massage. I want to see, uh, attend to what hurts on you. I want to give. I want to give because I love the idea of helping you out with the knowledge I have. But the 16 says, as with the P, I fall over a lot and learn things the hard way. So as much as they give out, they really are trying to do things to help people. But they don't get it back. And so they can become quite oh, un unhappy in life. Um, it's almost like people don't really understand. No, not many people do understand the letter P. So, now that I've talked about the P, Paul, 7, 1, 3, and 3. Patricia, 7, 1, 2, 9, 9, 3, 9, and 1. 7 and 1 is 8. 8 and 6 is 14 which equals 5, 7, 8, 10, 19, 28, 31, 40, 41. Well, look at that. 5 and a 5. Now, they may have similar numbers. They don't have similar letters in general. Got a few the same. The A P and A here, no L and no U. So Patricia 
has got more in there than Paul has in there. The more letters there are in a person's name, the more tools they have in their toolkit. Now, I'm using one marker pen. But having three marker pens means I've got more ability to define things differently on the board. So with more tools, less tools, this name, Patricia, is more capable of doing things in her life the way that she does things as opposed to a Paul. But that doesn't mean to say Paul is not clever, smart or capable. It says that I'm wise at the front, I'm creative at the back. There's that open L, which has got all the experience being talked about. And they are good at talking. The number five, when I did this symbol thing on one of my other descriptions of names, number five is always in the middle. When you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in any of these four corners and keep it in sequence. It's always in the middle, which means it's in connection with every other number there is in our numbering system. Five is in the middle. It's versatile. It has knowledge about everything. These people make good salespeople because they can talk. They can create, fabricate, dream up, find a way around a problem very fast because they're smart sometimes learning the hard way to start with, but they become very bright in the end because they do have a lot of knowledge. You might say, not the Paul of all trades, but the Jack of all trades. And from that there, looking at that name, although it's short, they're very good salespeople and they're a very good people person. They enjoy the company of others. They enjoy being enjoyed. They like people liking them. Patricia, same thing, learns a lot in their life, especially in their younger years, just like Paul, because they fall over a lot when they're younger. So they are a life of learning. Now, with the A at the end of Patricia, the A represents the major change in the life or the living conditions, as I had hardly mentioned before about the origin of the letter A. Phoenicians and the Romans changed it until it became the traditional A we have today, represents a rapid change in the life or living conditions because the ox pulls the cart and makes everything easier by having, having a, ra a, sorry, a rapid change. Now, let's look at the outcome of the five for Patricia. Same with Paul. Good people, people, but they have this ability to get the job done right from the get-go after their name expresses it with knowledge and action, knowledge and talk. Knowledge and talk, expressing, knowledge and action. They're both capable of a variety of, ha of handling things in a variety of ways. The four says practical, square, and the one says my way. So they like to get things done their way and then they get on with it and have action at the end of it. They're both likable people, fun to have around. One can talk the back end off anything and sell a ice cream to an Eskimo, as it were, whereas Patricia will get on and do a variety of work and just basically handle it, just manage it. So there we have two names, and you might know Patricia, you might know a Paul or two, and see what you think when you start listening. Yeah, they do talk a lot. Yeah, they're pretty quick with the mouth, and they can tell a good joke because they are a storyteller. That's a really good storyteller name. Well, thanks for watching. Click the like button and even subscribe. And as Peter says, everything is in a name. Hi, Peter here again. If you liked what you saw, I have a full personality profiling service but not just from your first name, from your whole name and your date of birth. The report covers your hidden skills and talents, what motivates you, how others see you, and much, much more, even an in-depth forecast. Follow the link in the description below for more direction. And again, thanks for watching.